Hey y'all, I'm Mandy Sutherland and real quickly I'm going to show you how to cath an Indiana pouch. I know some of you have trouble in the beginning on how to properly cath an Indiana pouch, so real quickly I'm going to show you how I cath my Indiana pouch. I'm going to do this as quickly as possible. My hands are very clean. Always make sure your hands are clean before you do this so you do not get germs or bacteria or any of those fun things in your Indiana pouch. Here's my stoma right here. I do keep it covered, but for this demonstration, I went ahead and uncovered it for this quick, short, straight to the point video. I always make sure I get it in there. And for those of you who have trouble, if you have resistance, just gently insert it and start twisting the catheter and it slides right in every time. And there you go. And that's all you do. If you can have any resistance, that's all you have to do is just twist the catheter all the way in and make sure that it goes all the way in. That way you make sure that your bladder or your Indiana pouch empties all the way. Um, because if you don't empty, you're going to set yourself up for infection. Um, but yeah, make sure your catheter goes all the way in. And as you're emptying, once it stops dripping, just slowly pull it out. Because there's going to be pockets of urine that you're going to catch on the way out. Because your, your pouch empties from the bottom to the top. So you're going to have pockets from the bottom to the top. So slowly pull it out so those pockets empty. And as you're slowly pulling it out, then you're done. And that is how you cath and empty your Indiana pouch. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I will help you the best that I can. And I hope that this short, sweet, to the point video helps you to, <laughs> I hope it helps <laughs> but always remember to that if you find resistance when you're cathing to gently twist and push and always remember to breathe take a deep breath in and breathe that out as you're pushing through and it it should help but if you have any questions feel free to ask me thank you